In today's video, we're going to teach you how to develop a man-to-man -man complement blitz in Madden NFL 16. Last yesterday, guys, we talked about how to send pressure from a zone look. It was a very long video in which we discussed the intricacies of developing a pressure. Today, we're going to talk about the intricacies of developing a man-to-man -man pressure. They are uh, similar, and they are different a little bit, too, uh, and so we're going to look at that as well. One of the things that we want to look for when we send man pressure is we want it to kind of look the same as if we were sending zone pressure. So one of the things that we're going to look for is a, is a play that has someone blitzing off of the left edge, similar to what we had with our zone look. So when we go into our nickel 245 double A gap, we note that uh, we're coming in here double A gap, and we're looking through the play sh selection here, uh, and we see that there's no play um, from a blitz that's going to blitz the uh, guy on the left side of the screen. Now this presents a little bit of a problem for us, but not much. Uh, we can easily adjust, and we're going to go ahead and use the quick blitz audible down. This is going to be the mid blitz that we're going to be breaking down today. Okay, now we know from previous experience what we want to do for our base setup is we want to base line, we want to show blitz, and we want to uh, spread our defensive line. From that point, we're able to take Chancellor and we're able to move him down off this. And what I really like to do is if they're in a spread, I'll move him right over his guy. The cool part about spread blitz for a moment here is that you're going to get um, you know, the opportunity to line up man as if it was almost like a two-man under look. Uh, and so let me show you one thing with this is if you manually bump your players they're gonna press here it's gonna see you're gonna get a press on Beasley um, and it makes it a little bit delayed okay but those are just advanced tips and things we'll talk about later on but the key to the man blitz is that you have a man-to-man -man coverage behind it and so you, you it's going to take away a different area of the field than the zone blitz would. This is going to now cover the quick flats. And so you're going to audible to your mid blitz when you come out and you want to send man pressure. You're going to base a line. You're going to show blitz. You're going to spread your defensive line and so that it looks exactly like your nickel pressure. You're guarding the running back, and so what often I'm going to do is put him into a hook zone. From this point, you're able to set up pressure. What I find to be most effective this season uh, is crashing my defensive line, defensive line to the middle. And at the snap of the ball, you see, and oops, I accidentally run command, and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, sorry about that a little bit. Uh, I guess I bumped it or something. But mid blitz, baseline show blitz. And remember that the things that we did with the uh, the previous pressure was we, crashed our, or we, we spread our defensive line. Okay, so we're going to spread our defensive line again today because it's going to create that same look. Bring Thomas down to create the same look. We know that from previous experiences that we're just going to run the play as is. And you see we're going to get pressure off that right edge. Now we are sending six guys at the quarterback, so that's important to notice that we are sending more guys. Now so what we're going to try to do is we know that the pressure comes from the right edge. Um, and so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to take some people on the left side and zone them out. Okay, So we're going to spread our defensive line, bring our guys in, bring Irvin wherever he's supposed to be. Spread our defensive line. So from here, what we're going to know is we're going to try to take KJ Wright and zone him out. So we zone KJ Wright. And you see now we're having a little bit of trouble getting the pressure in. They're going to slide over. So one thing we're going to try to do is maybe crash the defensive line to use a nice stunt to come around it. So we're going to try to crash our defensive line to the left. So we're going to crash our defensive line to the left. Zone KJ right out. Bring Chancellor down. And we're hoping we can get that pressure in. Let's see. And here you see it almost comes in, but it not quite. Uh, and we are stopped. So we may need to go ahead and leave a six man blitz on uh, for this play to work. But maybe not. Let's try to now bluff blitz KJ right so that he's at least given us some coverage on the play. So fake blitz. And you see we're still having just a little bit of trouble getting that pressure in um, for, as far as it, making sure that it looks exactly the same as our zone pressure. So from here, we need to continue to work with this. And We'll see if we maybe can take one of these guys out of the out of the play, one of these middle linebackers. Snap go. And we see we're still not able to get the 
now it's still not able to get the clear guy in um, and so we'll continue to work with it we'll spread our line try some of that stuff but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get anybody to we can fake let's see's middle linebacker here and this may give us enough to get that pressure and let's see so there we bluff blitz and we almost got it free but not quite and so what it's looking like um, is because we've spread the line uh, and what I bet you could do is if you pinch the line you may be able to have some success let's just see up oh, I ran commit again for some reason I think this controller run commits on an accident every now and then so I apologize for that um, 